everybody. So we're going to be talking about the slopes and equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. So we're going to talk about them each at once. Um, and we're going to be talking also a little bit about some of like the theorems and like the words that you'll see with parallel and perpendicular lines. But you've got this. All right. So parallel lines are the case if two non-vertical lines are parallel then that means their slopes are the same or you can say equal so if I've got two non-vertical parallel lines, then that means when graphed on a coordinate plane, their slopes are going to be equal. Now, you don't need to have this graph on there, but it's there in case if you need it. All right now, the converse can also be true, where if the slopes of two distinct non-vertical lines whoops, are equal, well, then you can say that the lines are parallel. And then lastly, and this one's super important, and people will always try to trip you up on this, and it's the easiest question you can get. Any two vertical lines or any two horizontal lines, they are parallel. Meaning, any equation that is vertical, so it's undefined and it equals some number, is going to be parallel to x equals some other number. You can also have something similar with the horizontal lines where it's y equals some number. It's going to be parallel to a line that is y equals some other number. Pretty much, parallel lines have the same slope. And I'm going to write this down on the front of my flap. Just so when I'm looking at my notes, right away I see same slope, parallel lines. Got it. Right. Next up, you've got perpendicular lines. Now, perpendicular lines. If two non-vertical lines are perpendicular, then their slopes are opposite reciprocals. So, if you've got these two lines right here, and they look like this, right? You'll also want to remember that opposite reciprocals, all you're doing is you're going to flip it and reverse it. So, put that up front, flip it, and reverse it. If you don't get my Missy Elliott reference, what that means is that I want you to put the original slope down. Okay, put the thing down. I want you to flip it and reverse it, reverse the sign, and that is the slope of something perpendicular to line A, or the slope of line A. These two would be opposite reciprocals. If you want to put opposite reciprocals on there, you totally can as well. But I personally like my Missy Elliott reference. Alright. Now, 
the converse of the first statement is also true. So if the slopes of two lines are opposite reciprocals, of each other, then the lines are perpendicular. So again, I want you to flip it. I want you to put the thing down. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. So put the thing down, flip it in, reverse it. So if your original slope is 3 over 4, that means you're going to first put the thing down, which you've done right here. Then you're going to flip it. So I'm going to flip it. And then I'm going to reverse it and this would be the slope or your opposite reciprocal of a perpendicular line all right now if two lines okay now this is also another one that's going to trip you up and they look for these to get to you guys. Horizontal lines and vertical lines are perpendicular. Now you're like, well, yeah, Miss Samji, that's common knowledge. Yeah, it is, except they try to give it to you in the form of an equation and it messes with y'all's heads. Pretty much, if you see a horizontal line, something y equals a number, and then you see something that's, um, I don't know, x equals some number, an undefined line, then these two lines are going to be perpendicular to each other. They're going to intersect at 90 degrees. And you'll notice I'm putting that on my flap as well. All right. Um, the opposite is also true where X can equal some number and Y can equal some number. And those two lines would be perpendicular. This is how they try to get you. Don't let them. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and work through some examples. All right, sorry guys, I'm struggling a little bit with this. I want you to determine whether each pair of lines is parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So the first thing you want to do is not assume. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the slopes of each of these lines. So the slope, A, which is M, of line A. Notice I put line A as a subscript. That tells me I'm looking at the slope of A, of line A, and M with the subscript of B means I'm looking at the slope of line B. Slope of line A, let's see. I'm going to pick this point and this point, and I'm going downhill, down one, always to the right, two. So we've got a negative one half. Okay, let's look at B, okay, down here. Ooh, also going downhill, down one, and oh, to the right, two. 
negative one half is equal to negative one half. And because the slopes are equal, then we can say that A is parallel to B, or line A is parallel to B. All right, let's do number two. So same thing, do not assume, guys, do not assume. It's how they try to trick you. Hmm. So the slope of line A is 1 over 3. And then the slope of line B is coming out to be, ooh, this is a far point. I'm going up the hill still. One, two, three, four. Always to the right, and that went, whoof, seven. So it almost looks like it would, but then it doesn't. And so one third is not equal to four sevenths. Um, ooh, let's see if we can flip it and reverse it. So I'm going to do the first one. I'm going to put the thing down. Flip it and reverse the sign. Negative three over one will be will be my perpendicular slope, which is not that one. Therefore, we're going to say neither. These two lines are just intersecting, by the way. Right? And just because they're intersecting does not mean that they're perpendicular. Remember, in order to be perpendicular, they're intersecting at 90 degrees. And that opposite reciprocal slope is what gets us to that point. I'm finding my slope of line A. Okay. Up one over three. Line B. Oh, that's a good point. Down two. Okay, to the right one. Which means it's just negative two. And because these are not opposite reciprocals, nor are they the same, we cannot say that they are perpendicular, nor can we say that they are parallel. So we're just going to say neither or neither. All right, let's look at this one. Maybe we'll find a perpendicular one. All right, so the slope of line A. Okay, going downhill. So it's negative. You went down one to the right two. Okay, and I'm going to go, ooh, up two to the right one for B, which, oh my goodness, look, if I put this thing down, I flip it and reverse it, that's my slope right there, which means these two lines, oh my gosh, guys, we did it. We found one. These two are perpen. So you can say A is perpendicular, and that's what that symbol means, to B. Yay, we did it, guys. Just kidding, you have two, three more. So in these kinds of situations, you're not always going to get a graph, and you don't want to sit there counting whatever. You'll get equations. At which point, make sure they're in y equals or point slope so you can catch their slope for them. This one, your slope is 2, and it's in slope intercept form. And then this next one is in point slope form. 
in your slope is negative 2. 2 and negative 2 are not the same thing. And 2 is not an opposite reciprocal of negative 2. If it was negative 1 over 2, y'all, we would have made bank. So instead, we're going to say neither. All right, let's try this one. These are both in standard form. Oh, I lied. This first one is actually in slope-intercept form. It's just written as y equals x plus 6. Hey, guys, that means my slope for this is 1. And the opposite reciprocal of 1, well, you're just looking for a slope of negative 1. You flipped it and you reversed the sign. So let's solve this one for y. And again, if you need help or you don't remember how to do this, then I'm linking a video at the end of this. Watch that video again. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 gets us a positive 1. And lo and behold, we instead have a set of parallel lines instead of perpendicular. Snazzy. You got it. All right. Now last one. Write the equations of lines parallel and perpendicular to the equation y equals 1 half x minus 3. And it goes through the point 6, negative 3. All right. So I'm going to do it in two different columns. I'm going to do my parallel one. And I'm going to do my perpendicular one here. And if we need to move that, we will. All right, so parallel, we know that we're looking for the same slope as this original equation, which is of 1 half. And they want us to use this point, 6, negative 3. Well, because you have a point and a slope, it's super easy to use point-slope formula. And when we rewrite it, we're going to get y minus a negative 3 equals 1 half times x minus 6. You would not leave your point slope like this. So instead, you would get y plus 3 equals 1 half times x minus 6. This is it, your answer in point slope form. Sometimes they're going to ask that you keep going and get to slope intercept form. So in order for that to happen, we're going to distribute that 1 half. And now we're going to remove the 3. And you're going to get y equals 1 half x minus 6. And this right here is your slope intercept form. So this would be your answer in slope intercept and this end point slope. Now, again, it depends on what they're asking you for. We're going to do the same thing with perpendicular. However, this time we have to flip our slope. Flip our slope. We're going to flip our slope and reverse the sign which means we're really looking for the slope of negative 2. All right. And we have to use 
our point of 6, negative 3. So again, point slope is easiest. I'm going to do y minus negative 3 equals negative 2 times x minus 6. All right, simplify it out. So this would be our answer in point slope. But again, they're not always this nice, and we're going to have to keep converting. And now this is in slope-intercept form. And there you have it. I know this is a lot to take in, but guess what? You've done about like three sections worth of notes in one sitting. You've got this. You can do it. Um, slow down. Take your time. Make sure you've got these two notes right here on the front of your flaps. Thanks for watching.